Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Priving the Pump Edition. That's right. All right, so tonight, and we're coming to the end of yes. our uh, series on J uh, Johnny Walker, Beyond the Black. Yes, we went down that rabbit hole. Actually, it's been a pleasant journey, I it have really to say. Has. A couple of missteps along the way, but yeah. uh, but more surprises and more... Uh, um, more things that were right than wrong. I was going to say, I think the, generally speaking, it's been a pleasant experience for the most part. Yeah. So uh, what are we looking at, at this evening? All right, so tonight it, we bought a, uh, I bought a little four pack that had um, four different uh, whiskeys in there. The, the black, the gold label, the blue, and an 18 year. Mm. So now their whiskey is age 15. Uh, their uh, the, mm. the green label is age 15. Yes, that's right. I think the um, the black is it age 12. I'm not sure I'm about not the sure. black to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, or whether it's 12 or 15, but it's a uh, um, but it's uh, certainly uh, one of them. Mm -hmm. And um, the 18 year. So oh, this yeah. has been aged a little bit longer. Um, so um, just on the bottle here, it just said uh, that um, up to 18 unique Scotch whiskeys blended to create a whiskey that has a rich, sweet, and smoky character. Oh. And it's aged 18 years. So it's 18 whiskeys aged 18 well, years. The, the line about smoky character is the one that has me curious because the Johnny Walker Black has actually gone over well with us. Yeah, it really has. It's 40% ABV. Mm. So, um, mm. you know, it's, uh, it's about what you expect. About what we'd expect. Yeah. You know, it's a blend, it's a blended whiskey. Now, um, I will say, you know, in our experience, 18 seems to be the magic number for a lot of distilleries where when you step up to an 18-year, they know that you're expecting more, and therefore they get a bit more creative with the blending. Um, I'm curious to see if that holds true with these guys. Yeah, for sure. So uh, I'm really, really excited to try this one. Yeah. This Actually, this may be the one I was most excited to try out of the pack. Um, I mean, oh, we tried certainly. The, yeah, we had the blue, and the blue was was amazing. Yeah, that was a nice one. But um, I I don't know if it was justified, you know, in the yeah. two hundred and fifty dollars for a standard bottle of that. I would agree wholeheartedly with that. Um, really nice whiskey. I think the price of admission is a little too high for me personally. That said, little bottles like this, great way to great way to try them. Agreed. Try them and then, you know, uh, experience them. And if you really like it, you can commit to a larger bottle. No, absolutely. So it appears to be similar in color to the other ones. Yes. And again, I, I fully believe that they do add color and I think they kind of have to as, as somebody who's blending whiskeys. Um, oils are yeah. pretty reasonable. Yeah, reasonable. Um, you know, it's a, it's a little thin in the glass. Yeah. Oh, now no, that, the nose is the nose is nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we've we've done a series of uh, Johnny Walkers, and they were all similarly nosed. Yeah, similarly, similarly. Nope. I couldn't say that. I can't drinking. even anymore. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna just give up. <laughs> but they were all, they were all pretty close. Yeah, they were not unique. How about that? They were that? not unique. All right, there you go. Um, this one, however, there is definitely something different to it, and yeah. I. You know, I will say I appreciate that. Even if it may not necessarily be I my taste, I like when something is unique. I agree. I know this nose. Um, space side. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. It's reminding me of another whiskey. I'm trying to put my finger on it. Oh. Yeah. Um, Honestly, on the nose, you could almost swear this was a single malt from like space side or something like that. Yeah, up to 18 unique whiskeys. I mean, there's probably space side in it. Mm -hmm. Has a rich, sweet, smoky character. And it does have a little bit of smoke in there, too. Yeah, I'm getting um, a nice sweetness, like a fruit sweetness almost. Yeah, but I'm getting a little brininess in there, too. You know, I would I would almost say that there's maybe a little talisker in there. Mm. I'm getting a little, like, it comes across like peat, like the heather that you find in certain peats. Right, but it's but it's not like um, not earthy. It's not earthy, and it's it's not an Isla no, type no. peat. No. But it hmm. but it does have a little heather note in there. I'm wow, I'm really digging that. I like the nose on this one. Of the recent ones we've had, I would say this on the nose. This is my favorite thus far. Okay. Hmm. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Th that's interesting. That There's is, a lot going on there. That's really unique. 
Mm. All right. And it keeps going. It does. It keep, um, Wow. It just keeps building and building and building. Yeah, it does. And um, so, I mean, it, it, it's initially soft on the tongue. Yeah. And then you get a little bit of barrel spice, but not, not a crazy amount, but just a little mm. bit. Um, there's a little bit of smoke in that, maybe just a little bit of peat. Mm. And then it's like caramel and mm -hmm. um, apple and um, mm. apricot. And then it, then it goes back into vanilla and caramel on the finish, and it just keeps going forever. What he said. Um, in all seriousness, as far as the smoke is concerned, very similar to the Johnny Walker Black, in my opinion, mm -hmm. in the way that presents. Um, on par, maybe tamed down ever so slightly, but definitely there and appreciated. Mm -hmm. Really like the barrel spice on this one. Real easy to deal with. There is a slight tannic nature to this one that got me on the first sip. Second sip, I didn't get it, though. Yeah, you know what it reminded me of is like a burnt sugar. So mm -hmm. um, uh, you get like a creme brulee and you get that little burnt, yeah. you know, maybe maybe they oh. just went a little too far with it. You get a little bit of that caramelization that's uh, just starting to turn like a, like, like a, like a marshmallow mm. that's been burned just a little bit too much. Now I gotta say, going back on the nose, I'm getting a bit more of that like peaty nature. Yeah, yeah, the peat really presents now. Interesting, yeah. that's kind of ballsy. Yeah, and it's got a little perfume note in it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's maltiness in there. This is really interesting. I'm digging this one. I have to say, um, I was a little concerned. Again, we've we've had some hits, we've had some misses. Um, this one for me is probably one of the hits. I I agree with that. I like the layers. There's a lot going on. I yeah. I think you could pick out some very distinct. You know, I, like I said, there's a little space side in there. There's a little mm -hmm. highland going on in there. Um, if little blend, island, little island, but not Isla. Yeah. Now I don't know what the price point is on this, so I'm going into this kind of blind as far as that's concerned. But I will say, as far as blends are concerned, like blended Scotch goes, this is a good one. This would be up towards the top of the list for me personally. Yeah, I'd, I'd throw this in with a compass box. I was just thinking the same thing because we had a blended scotch from compass box that was really tasty. This is kind of in that ballpark, and that's saying something. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Thoroughly impressed with this one, actually. I dig this one. Again, you know, that, that goes back to what we've said before. 18 seems to be like the magic number. When a distillery puts 18 years on a bottle, they know they better come was something special. Um, now that may, may not necessarily be due to the age of the whiskey, it may be some of the finishes or the blends that they're using, but regardless, they uh, they meet, excuse me, expectations on this one, and then some. Yeah, um, we're multiple sips on this one now. I'm getting a little peppery note on the right on the tip of the tongue. Yeah. Um, that's almost, I'm not gonna say black pepper, it's almost chili pepper. Mm. We get just a just a little bit of chili pepper spice on that. I'm really digging this. What I like about it is it's perfect for somebody that likes blends. It's complex without being too in your face. It's interesting without being aggressive. I think is the best way for me to describe it. Yeah. They really did a good job with this one. I am thoroughly impressed. Well done. Yeah, good job, Johnny Walker. All right, one to five. What do you think? I'm going to go four on this one. I'm with you. I kind of dig this. And the finish sticks around a minute, too, which I kind of like. I really enjoy that. Yeah. I really enjoy the flavors going on there. Wow. Yeah, that finish is And nice. it just sort of, you know, just keeps going and going and then yeah. eventually fades into the sunset. Oh, perfect. No, very nicely done, well-rounded whiskey. Um, again, don't know much about it outside of it tastes yummy. <laughs> um, if it's reasonably priced and it's within your budget, I would recommend picking it up if you happen to like other Johnny Walkers. I think you're really going to enjoy this one. Um, and even if you're not a big Johnny Walker fan, I think this one holds up. I, I agree with that too. Wow. So uh, yeah, if you like the uh, the black, you're probably going to really dig this one. Yeah, I would agree it's, with it's that. It's going to take it up a notch. Yeah, there's uh, now that's an important point. If you don't like the black, then this may not be the direction to go for you because there is a bit of smoke to this one. Yeah. And I'm glad you brought that up. 
uh, but otherwise damn fine whiskey and I think this kind of draws our Johnny Walker rabbit hole experience to a close. Except for the live show, but yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> there, that's going to happen, but I got to say it's, yeah, it's nice it's to go out fun. on a high note. Yeah, it really is. I was yeah. a little concerned for a minute there, and this one kind of uh, alleviated that Ups concern. Ups and downs, laughter and tears, and yeah, uh, that's man, right. it, it went out strong. It's been a roller coaster, man. Yeah. Anyhow, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, we sure did. Take care. Bye.